Guys, awesome stuff. Welcome to the first day of the course. Um, this is one of the biggest lessons of them all because it's all about you getting to where you want to ultimately be. Um, so first off, so excited that you're, uh, that you're with me on this journey. I honestly, uh, you know, obviously your success is my success too. Uh, I don't do I don't do this much. Um, I'm not a teacher by trade, but I get so invigorated by seeing all of the success of you, of my students, of you know the last time I did this, I've created multiple millionaires, um, and now we're doing this once again, and you're a part of things. So I really want to make this stand out, and I want to help you get to where you want to be ultimately too. And if you're taking this course, you're probably pretty ambitious. So um, quick overview. As you know, everything we're going, to, going over is basically paid advertising and affiliate marketing. We're using leverage and we're taking you to the moon to create a business. Whether you've been doing sales, whether you've been doing engineering or software development or whatever you've been doing, um, we're gonna we're gonna show you the processes to creating basically just selling products on a massive scale online so that you make lots of money so you're just getting in between there and making some of that so first off to get you to where you want to be we have to talk about goals Okay. Everything starts with your goal. What is your goal? And if you don't have, if you don't have an endpoint, if you don't have a destination in mind, you're not going to get there. You're not going to get there. You have to have a destination in mind. Have you ever? I don't know how many of you have ever taken a taxi. Have you ever hopped in a taxi and just sat in there and waited for him to say something? And it, and he would, say, you know, the taxi driver says, "Where are you going?" And if you just say, "I don't know." They go crazy. You can't go anywhere. You, you, you're going to go nowhere if you don't know your destination. The taxi driver, what is he going to do? The Lyft driver, the Uber driver? He's just going to sit there and say, okay, I can't help you. You know. So you have to have your goal because otherwise you won't get there. Maybe you'll get lost along the way. Maybe you'll take detours. Maybe you'll take the scenic route, but either way, having the destination, you, you, you have to have your destination. So let's figure out your destination real quick. So first, we're gonna start this off with, it's gotta be specific. Specific, you've gotta have a specific goal in mind. What is that specific goal? Think about it, taste it, smell it, hear it, Feel it. Um, what, what, I don't know what other senses. See, yeah, exactly. I said all the senses. So you want to really have it down. Um, if your dream is to be living on St. John's Island in the Caribbean or in the Bahamas, imagine what it smells like. Go there. Visit there. See how much houses cost. Or if it's just to have more time with your family. Understand, this business, you can only have to work four hours a week. But imagine what that is. Have a clear visualization of what activities you will be doing to make that happen and have it get clear over time. Maybe every day you go into the office, your home office or something of your seven bedroom house, you check some of your stats because let's say you're selling t-shirts and you, 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 you talk to one of your design, you send a message to one of your designers and you say, hey, can you create some more designs around bears and whatever that is and say, and then you talk to your other person, you say, hey, can you throw up some ads for me on Facebook with the new design? You have everybody in touch. What does that day look like? And that's, that's your work for the day. You spend 30 minutes or 45 minutes in that day and you did a couple things, then you go back to your life. What does that life look like? Hunting, fishing, camping. You know, that's something, that's stuff I like to do. Um, but have it be specific. Make it real in your mind. Again, hear the sounds of the birds and the trees of where you are, whatever that is. That's important. The next thing is measurable. Okay. Okay. 
measurable goal. Oh, here, let me write out the other steps real quick. Okay, smart goal setting. Measurable, you want it to be something where you can say, I am earning $5,000 per month working less than 10 hours a week. Boom, that's a measurable goal. Got it? Have it that concise and you'll figure out whether you're moving towards it or away from it. I know this sounds crazy like woo woo BS. Trust me here guys, I know what I'm talking about. You have to think about it. You have to know what you're aiming towards because otherwise what you start doing, and we'll talk more about this in the mindset training, you start to let other people define your life, your direction rather than you defining it. Part of defining it, again, I know it sounds woo woo, it's figuring this stuff out. $5,000, 10 hours a week. $10,000 a month profit, 10, 000, 10 hours per week. And that's your, that's your, uh, you know, that's, that's your business. Under, think about what are you doing during those days, etc. The next thing is attainable. Again, sorry for my horrible handwriting. I am just a horrible handwriter. <laughs> um, attainable meaning don't give me something ridiculous or don't give yourself something ridiculous. If you're working at Jamba Juice making $3,000 a month, uh, don't say you suddenly want to earn $300,000 a month. Okay. It should be, a, it should be some, somewhat attainable. And maybe eventually you want to make $300,000 a month, but you give yourself a goal of making $3,000 a month on the side, okay? That's more attainable. If you've been working as an employee your whole freaking life and you've never made a dollar on your own without a job, without an employer backing you, dude, you just need to start earning some money. Uh, you know, so have it be attainable. If you've earned $10,000 a month in commissions, for whatever company you were working for, if you've earned you know fifteen thousand dollars in a month as you know a software developer or as, a, as you know doing engineering projects, great. That's that's an attainable goal. Say I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this amount through affiliate marketing. I'm going to make ten thousand a month through affiliate marketing, because you've already earned commissions of that sort of amount offline. Just try to do it online. Whatever that is, it should be attainable based on where, where you're at. If it's too big, and the psychology here is if it's too big of a goal, you're not, you're, you're gonna get, it's, it's gonna be demotivating um, when you don't reach those, when you don't reach that goal. Um, you can always move your goal once you hit it, okay? Uh, one of my goals was just, my goal was just to, uh, it was funny, it was just to make, replace my income. When I was working a job back in 2012, I was earning, uh, I was earning, um, I was earning $6,000 a month at my job and I just said, I just wanna replace my income. So what I started doing was I started going after clients that uh, you know, I was going after freelance you know, clients to manage ads for and I started going after clients and I said, well, to really to really replace my income at $6,000 a month, I could, you know, I could pitch, you know, one option was I could pitch clients, I could, I, I, I realized the easiest way was just to get one client to agree for $6,000 a month. But I realized also to get one client at $6,000 a month, I should probably pitch them at $10,000 a month. What was funny was, uh, and to get that one client at $10,000 a month, I probably have to pitch three clients at $10,000 a month. Um, what's funny is uh, what ended up happening is I did that. I found three people I could pitch to manage their ads for $10,000 a month. And I ended up getting two of them. And I ended up having my boss become a, you know, boss pay me to not even show up, just to work on his account on the side. Um, and I had a, a, another other couple, you know, I had a couple clients that were paying me a thousand bucks a month. So I ended up going from, you know, I was just looking to replace my income at, for $6,000 a month. Uh, I ended up with 30, which is really funny. 
So if you're really, you know, it's, it's great. Like Bruce Lee says, don't punch the target, punch through the target. Um, Cause if you're trying, if you're trying to hit, if you're trying to make $5,000 a month, go into niches that can earn you 10 or more punch through the target. Because if you want to break it, if I want to break the board, I'll just hit the board like this. If I want to break it, I punch through it. Um, okay. Where are we at? Attainable, relevant is the next thing. Um, make your goal relevant. Do you really need a Lamborghini? I don't know. I have, uh, I have a number of young people who uh, take my program. And by the way, hats off to you if uh, you are uh, under the age of 25 uh, taking your life so seriously at this point. There's um, I've had a number of students that have been pretty young that have gone through this program and hats off, of, hats off to you to taking your education into your own hands um, and not listening to the BS of the media, what the media or the, uh, you know, the, you know, families or, you know, the, the education system tells us the education system, the three influences in our lives are education, media, and families. And, uh, hats off to you for not going with what the status quo pushes, which is the modern education system and really taking your success in your own hands. Um, so, but I get a lot of young people saying, I want a Lamborghini. Is that relevant? You know, is it relevant to where you really want to be in life? Um, make your goals relevant. If you just want enough money to be a person and travel and go to music festivals and, you know, have a reasonable car, you know, if, if that's a Corvette, you can lease a Corvette for, I don't know how much you just want, you want a cool car. You want a car that's cooler than your friends. You want to go to music festivals. You want time, whatever that is. I don't know what it is for you. You just, or you just want to play video games and, uh, you want to have, you want to have a house. Um, it should be relevant. Don't, if you say a Lamborghini, it's not going to motivate you truly because that's generally speaking, the people who say, I want to make a million dollars a month and have a Lamborghini. They don't, it's, it's, it's not necessarily relevant to their situation. Um, uh, so make it relevant. If you're, if you're approaching retirement and you know, you, you really do want to have a million dollars in the bank because you want, you're thinking about retiring. So whatever that is. Then the next thing is time bound. Okay. Time bound, time bound your goal. If your goal, you know, we, we had said measurable, you know, you want to make $10,000 a month working 10 hours a week on this, on this business, you know, paid advertising and affiliate marketing. But if you don't have a date to get there by, it's not as relevant. So maybe you say, okay, I want to be making $10,000 a month as an affiliate marketer or on my own by the end of the year, you know, or six months from now, nine months from now, a year from now, those are time bound goals. Okay. Generally I would say, you know, make the time periods shorter, you know, over six months might be too long, but whatever is relevant to you, make it time bound. Otherwise it's just ad infinitum, you know, it can last forever. So you create a goal like this and you're going to be very successful. Um, write it down. My suggestion, just take out a piece of paper, write it down, write it down somewhere, set a calendar reminder whatever calendar you use or Google, or if you have a, you know, a, 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 a calendar stapled to your refrigerator, set that goal, check it out. Um, next thing. So this is pretty important. Next thing I'm going to talk about is, uh, for getting started is deleting the distractions from your life. So you want, obviously you're setting your goal to get started with this course. This is where we're going to be moving towards with everything we're learning. We're learning a lot of stuff, guys. You're going to be learning a lot of stuff and we're going to get in the meat and potatoes and all the computer work very soon. But this, this overrules everything. The next thing is get rid of the bad stuff. No poisons. Um, 
no poisons. And what poisons are is they're things that are going to distract you. They're things that are fighting for your attention. And there are a million of them. Um, I was maybe one of them at some point, but we have a relationship now, okay? You probably have seen my, I don't know if you've seen my ads or my whatever, I don't know, but there's a million, there's a million products, teachers, um, softwares, social networks, everything competing for your attention. S again, start creating your own reality. Start getting rid of these things that are sucking your attention away and start putting it towards positive stuff that is moving towards your goal. So what that means is start getting rid of notifications. Um, yeah, all right. Notifications. Um, it depends on what you do for work, but for me, I'm a full-time entrepreneur. This thing is the most distracting thing on the planet. I've turned off every single notification from every single app except one. I've turned off all, I've, I've silenced and muted all calls except, uh, well, my wife used to get mad about this. I, it, she's the only one who's not silenced. Otherwise, my phone never rings. I literally never hear it ring unless it's for my wife. Some people don't like this, but I return calls when I want to. Um, also, uh, unsubscribe from as many emails as you can. If you are on email lists, if you are on text message lists, whatever you're on, get rid of it. Unsubscribe from as many, because there are, obviously we should be whitelisted. Um, guys, if you are not receiving the emails from me or my course support, support at John Cristani or john at johncristani.com, make sure those are in your inbox. Make sure those are whitelisted because this is my main method of communicating with you. If you don't have this method of communication, it's gonna be really hard to stay on topic on the course. We need these in your main inbox. And what you do, uh, there should be a link somewhere on this page, but basically you're gonna add me to contacts. Add me to contacts if you're in Gmail or really any email client. Um, but everyone else, all of these other 15 people that are you know, telling you all these different ways you could either make money or discounts or coupons or events or whatever, unsubscribe from as many of the, these automated newsletters as you possibly can because they're competing for your attention. They're trying to take you away from what should be your goal. Okay. Um, so getting rid of the distractions. What else? Friends, family, obligations, anything that Anything that buys for your time out of a sense of guilt or obligation is bad. So no guilt, okay? I don't wanna hear, you know, don't feel guilty about not going to your friends, your best friend's friend's birthday party. Don't feel guilty that you're not going to your uncle's barbecue this weekend, your uncle who you see every week, you, that you're not going to his barbecue. Don't feel guilty that you're not, you know, all of these things suck the time away from focusing on what really matters, which is, guys, we want to create a passive income for ourselves. Our life is too short to be doing things on other people's terms. Define your life. You have a chance to do it right now, right now, but you have to take this seriously. You have to learn how to do online sales and you have to do it, okay? You have the model. We're getting into it. Um, so we're getting rid of some of the distractions, right? Next thing is, last but not least, um, I suggest you go through this thing called the Dickens process. Dickens process. And um, this is, basically this is a meditation where, I'll put a link to it, um, this is a meditation where you want to imagine if you continue going down your life the way you've been currently going down your life. Think about what is going to, uh, if you continue going down with, you know, what are, think of your limit, you know, think of some beliefs you have. Maybe you think this is too hard. Maybe you think, it's not really real to make money online. Maybe you think that, what are some of these limiting beliefs you have that are holding you back from success? Um, 
basically, if you keep those beliefs, making money online is harder. You know, you can only do this if you, you know, if you have experience as, you know, like a, you know, a salesperson or a, you know, engineer, or maybe you think that you can, you can only do this if you're young, you know, or if, you know, or maybe you think you don't have enough money to make anything happen or you, whatever, you're in the wrong place, whatever your limiting beliefs are, start, you know, basically if you hold on to those and the, this is what the Dickens process is. If you hold on to those a year, two years, five years, 10 years, 25 years from now, how will those beliefs affect where you go? How will those beliefs hold you back? and kind of go through this imagination process and then reverse that and say, okay, if I get rid of these beliefs, where can I end up? <coughs> what can my future look like if I don't have those beliefs? So I'll put a link to the video below this um, uh, Dickens. It's a little extra training but uh, this is powerful, powerful. So hopefully this helped. Guys, set your goal, your exercise. Your exercise is to set a specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time-bound goal. Write it down somewhere. Put a post-it note uh, on your computer or something if you're really cool or on your refrigerator uh, or in your bathroom mirror. Start getting rid of these poisons, okay? Um, notifications, I'm subscribed, no go. But basically your two exercises are set your goal and go through this Dickens process video and I'd like to hear your thoughts on what your limiting beliefs were and how you've changed them. Cool? Cool. Guys, again, awesome to uh, have you as part of this training. I'm looking forward to helping you guys become super, super successful, become a super affiliate, and uh, because again, your success is my success. So I want you guys to be doing as well as freaking possible, guys. So, uh, you know, the reason, you know, I hope you guys don't mind, we're going over some of this kind of like theory, non computery stuff. You have no idea how important this is. I've, I've, I've taught a number of students before, I've, I've created multiple millionaires from the last time I took on students. And uh, we're going, we're swinging for the bleachers uh, uh, this time. So, um, you know, I'll help you create a seven figure business. You help me create an eight figure business. How about that? So, see you guys in the next video. Do the exercises.